automations can be tricky to master, but once you do, you'll be hooked. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. In this video, I'll show you how to avoid orphan records by deleting children when their parent record is deleted. Hi, I'm Sharon, and before we dive in, I just quickly wanted to let you know that you can get more how-tos, free downloads, and access to premium courses over on quickbasejunkie.com. For this demo, I'll be using an app from the App Exchange called the Simple Project Manager, but that's not all. I'm also using my own personal free, yes, I said free, license from the QuickBase Builder program. You can get your very own QuickBase to learn and play to your heart's content using the link in the text below. Now, let's get started. For this example, I've got two tables, projects and tasks. Projects are the parent of tasks. Let's take a look at projects. Here you can see a number of projects that also have a number of tasks related to them. Typically, if we were to delete one of these projects, those poor tasks, well, they'd be orphaned. They'd no longer be associated to any parent because that parent record doesn't exist. Well, we can fix that from ever happening again using a QuickBase automation. To set up an automation, we'll open the settings. You can access the settings for automations on any table or in the application settings itself. We'll choose automations here. I'll add a new automation and I'll choose when data changes because of essentially removing a record which isn't on a schedule. I'll name my automation and then set my trigger. The trigger is what tells the automation to run. In this case, we're going to want to choose deletes a record and then uncheck adds a record. The table that is triggering this automation will be the projects table. We could also set some additional criteria that would help filter the conditions in which our automation runs. In this case though, I'm going to keep it simple. We just want to delete the child records every time a parent record is deleted. So I'll leave these additional criteria the way they are. And move on to adding our action. The action is what we want to have happen after the trigger is initiated. Here, what we want to do is delete records. So I'll choose this option. It'll ask where we want to delete records from and using some logic, it'll display the options that you have. So it gives us the option of deleting tasks. With that selected, I can now choose which tasks I want to have deleted. Again, because of the logic that they've built into these automations, it's already populating for me the option that I need. What I need to identify is the related project for any task that's the same as the one that I just deleted to trigger the automation. So you can see here the related project is set equal to the value of the trigger project's record ID. This is exactly what we need in order to make sure that we are only deleting those tasks that are related to the project. Now, you want to be really careful here because if this was not set, you could accidentally delete all the records in your tasks table and you certainly don't want that. I always encourage you to test out automations in a test or practice QuickBase. You could even use that builder account so that way you know you've got them set up right before you launch them in production. Before I close out, I want to point to the comments so you could also add a longer narrative if you needed to in order to explain what this automation does. I'll go ahead and save now. And 
and we can return back to our quick base. With that automation all set up, let's take a quick peek at what will happen once we trigger it. First, let's look at the tasks. You can see here I have 41 tasks. That number is going to change once we initiate that automation. Back on our projects table, I'm going to delete the wireless initiative project here. You see there are three tasks associated with it. I'll click delete. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And the project has been successfully deleted. Now you notice there was no notification of any sort that my automation ran. It happens in the background, but let's take a look at what the results were. Back on our task table, we now see we have 38 tasks, no longer 41. Those three tasks that were associated with the project I deleted were in fact also deleted successfully. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below. Using the link below. Bye for now.